walk around. I've got to leave the car running because the battery was drained back down. My guys in back keep forgetting to disconnect the air suspension pump, so it's constantly running every time it lowers itself, and they forget to disconnect the battery. So we had to jump it, as you saw, uh, to get it out. I want to get this video shot for you before uh, our rain starts. It's just a few minutes away. So I'm going to just walk around it. I'm going to get some good close-up video of the body line so you can see. I'm just going to start with a just a circle uh, around the car. And then I'll uh, just do some close-up of all of the lines. I normally would have had them wipe it down, but it is literally, I think, within 10 minutes of starting to pour down rain here. So here we are going up the line between the passenger fender and the hood. Go across the front of the hood. That's just a little tree sap, it's not rust. And now we'll go up the uh, driver's side uh, between the line on the hood and the uh, front fender. All right, so now I'm gonna do kind of just a low video across this lower body line. Well, the door is off a little bit. If you look, you can see and there is Put a radio in when it got to 
us. It had nothing, just an open hole. Uh, those are all the gauges that were put in during the restoration. See the back seat's in really good condition. Driver's side, uh, there is a harness system uh, for the belts that is set up in here. Some small areas like where the trim needs to be kind of refastened down through the year. Uh, but that's really about it on the, uh, on the inside and anything else. And I just felt the rain drop, so I'm going to try to wrap this up before it starts pouring. While I'm out here, I'm going to go ahead and just get you some video. Um, they did not do any detailing on the engine. accelerator a few times. 